Are we excited? Yeah. All right. Left side of the room, are you excited? Right side of the room, I hope you're more excited than the left side of the room was. Middle side of the room, it's on you guys. One, two, three, let's go. Are you excited? I think we have a winner. I'm Harry. And I'm Eunice, and we'll be your MCs for tonight. Every year, the Malaysian community here in New City comes together to put on this show to give you a glimpse into Malaysian culture, history, and tradition. And this year, we are extremely excited to show you what we've been working on. Um, uh, tonight's production is called Thank You, Chegu. In which Chegu means teacher in Malay. As you might imagine, the story follows a young teacher who's trying to improve the quality of education in rural Malaysia. While we're still on the topic of education, let's educate our British friend here, Harry, about Malaysia. Um, okay, yes, I'm pretty sure I know everything there is to know about Malaysia. I'm like half Malaysian myself. Oh really? And I'm only half impressed. <laughs> Okay, here's something you might find interesting. Do you know how to use the Malaysian suffix lah, leh, and leh? <laughs> of course. Of course I can. I've got it. Of course lah. <laughs> you think I don't know man? <laughs> I can't do that. Well, I'm very proud of my British counterpart. We do have a more serious message to send to you here Indeed. today. On, on a more serious note, uh, there are some areas in rural Malaysia where uh, maintenance of the labor force is still considered to be more important than education of the younger generation. Yeah, and tonight we aim to show you a different side of Malaysia altogether. One that's far away from the glitz and glamour of urban Kuala Lumpur and away from the white sandy beaches you might imagine we have. Yeah, uh, and in light of that, we'd like to offer a very sincere thank you to all of our very own UCD <coughs> professors, lecturers, and academic staff present here tonight and or otherwise located. Um, we'd also like to invite all UCD students and anyone else to stand up and thank them with us. So, so on your feet, let's yep. get going. Come on. So, here's how we're going to do it. Um, in true Malaysian spirit, at the count of three, we're going to say, Thank you, Chegu, together. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Thank you, Chegu! Great stuff, guys. Sit down, guys. Well, one final shout out, one big, big shout out to our sponsors, whom without them, none of this would have happened. Our gold sponsor, Sahabat Aranasli, silver sponsor, Nusa Link, and Maya Linda, bronze sponsor, Art Glass Singapore. Thank you so much. We'd also like to give a very uh, honourable mention to our special guest of the evening, Professor Patrick Fell, who's attending on behalf of Professor Patrick Murray, the Dean of Medicine here at UCD, who couldn't be here tonight, uh, as well as Ms. Carl Lesby, the International Student Advisor for all internationals like us. We also have someone very special with us here tonight, the acting Malaysian Ambassador, um, Her Excellency Puan Siti Noor Arliya. Thank you so much for coming. Really <laughs> Thank you so much, it means the world to us. Um, just before we get started, a bit of quick, quick housekeeping. Um, please, 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 set all mobile phones to silence. Please, no eating inside Astro Hall. Um, uh, no flash photography. No well. flash photography, uh, and there will be flashing lights during the performance. In case of emergency, fire exits are located here, here, and here. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> Well, take a moment to locate the nearest exit to you. Please note, it might be behind you. Yeah. And unfortunately, there will not be any life jackets or oxygen masks, but I think we'll be okay because I hear there's a couple of medics in the audience. Uh, I think we've taken up enough of your time. Thank you for coming tonight and enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. You are the last best hope of Earth. We ask you to protect it. Or we and all living things we cherish are history. Hello, Vanakam. Apakaba, Nihama. Some people ask me how I have gotten to where I am today. I smile and simply say, Chingu. 
a woman who personifies dedication itself. Chikru grew up in a small village called Kampong Impian. Yes, that is where her life motto comes from. She aspired to be a teacher, as she wanted to reach out to the children and help them achieve their dreams. She adored children, and she believed that every child has the potential to reach for the stars, regardless of where they come from, a big city or a small village. However, her experience as a teacher in a big short school in Kuala Lumpur was not as she expected. The education system was corrupt, benefiting children of high-income families or abandoning those who were poor. In her elite's eyes, education was something that was bought and not taught. <sighs> no, she couldn't stay still and let it be. She believed that every child should be treated equally. With her beloved husband, she decided to go back to Kampong Impian to start afresh. Of paddy fields, blue skies, friendly villagers, fresh air. <sighs> her life was perfect. But life is not always rainbows and daffodils, no? Her husband had a heart attack soon after. Sadly, he did not survive the ordeal. His death took her by surprise. She fell into despair. And she made it worse when she shut herself up from her friends completely. Some even said she was sick herself. One day, she saw village kids flying kites by paddy field. They talked about how they wanted to touch the sky with their bare hands. They were so full of optimism and excitement of what the future held for them. Chegu's resolve was renewed and she set out on fulfilling her dream once more. She also always said, no dream is too big or too small to chase. Who were those boys by the paddy field, you say? I should know. I was one of them. Okay, folks, it's time to go. They are calling me. Until next time. Student can't be learning under a condom like this anymore. 
building a proper building for teaching and learning. These officials won't just approve a small hut like this for that. But Malor, is there really nothing you can do? These kids, they just need one chance. Please help me fight for these kids just as you have fought for your position in the government. I remember when we were kids, we only relied on top guru and he taught all five of us under his panda. Why can't I do the same thing? Okay, Deepa, calm down. I'll help you with all my might if I have the power to do so. But this isn't something that can be done easily. And so what if the kids are divided according Social to... Social status? Where's the justice in that? I remember when schools were still segregated based on race, but that was resolved, was it not? The very same thing is happening right now, Malor. The very same government you work for is letting this happen. Can't you see that? Okay, Diva. There is no need to get so worked up. Sit down. I understand your frustration, but the government has put in some strict guidelines in place so that the curriculum and the examinations will meet the national standards. These have to be fulfilled at least. But it's so unfair to these poor kids. They have so much potential. And how will the kids in the kampong get the necessary education? Please, Lord, help me if you can. Okay, I'll see what I can do. But first, search for at least 15 students and search for a proper building to be a school. That is the most basic requirement. I'm warning you, Deepa. This path that you're about to take, it's not an easy one. I know. Thank you, my lord. You won't be disappointed. Abang, that's back of fishing. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. So, how was your day? <sighs> Not so great, son. I didn't catch many fish. But I did see bigger boats about, and they seemed to know where all the fish were, because they got lots of them. But when I asked them how they did it, they showed me a small screen that said, Sunal? I think you mean Sunal, Dad. <laughs> it detects what's on the ocean surface through the reflection of the sound waves. That brain of yours, Ada, frightens me sometimes. <laughs> Just like your mother. <laughs> Alright, son. I think I'll get myself cleaned up. Keep working on that net. Looks good. Sure, Dad. Oh, and I fixed the bucket, so you can use it now. What's that grey stuff on it? Oh, it's some cement that I got from... Uh... Oh, don't worry. It's just some cement. Abang, I heard a new school just opened in the kampong. It's the very first one. Yes, what about it? I thought I could join, but that mean lady said I was too young. So, since you're really smart and you're old enough, why don't you try? Then you could tell me what it's like. If I did go, that means I would have to leave the house for the day. Who would make the fishing nets before Dad gets home in the morning? Who would make lunch for the both of us? Who would take care of you? Then, there's the hole in the roof, in the house that we need to fix, not to mention... Hey! I can take care of myself. That's exactly how old I am. Besides, you always fix the fishing net at night anyways. Come on, please. What's going on, kiddos? Dad, I was just telling Abba that he should join a new school. Hmm, good idea, Amiya. Adam, my son. The one thing I regretted was not staying with my aunt to get education. If I did, we wouldn't be living like this. Please say you'll go. Chances like this are hard to come by. But Dad, I don't think you understand. I don't think I can go to school and help around at home at the same time. Hey look, it's Adam. Hi Adam. 
Oh, hi guys. Hey. I've been seeing you guys before. Well, what, what are you guys doing? Yeah, we're just busy learning a little dance. <laughs> you wanna see? Sure. Okay, let's go. opportunity as I did many years ago. So, what's it going to be? Oh, <laughs> and that's why it's so important to have a nice day. Oh, yes, come day. Oh, they say, if you look at him in the eye, you sign a contract with I were you, I wouldn't even look at him in the eyes. Well, like, really? Like, honestly, like, what did I just say? Well, well, well. Looks like you'll be the first one to donate me some money. Come on, hand it over. Look, look I, I don't want any trouble. I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> well, okay, it's hungry work. Come on, just give me a lunch money. Oh, 
What you looking at, Tom Face? I think that there'll be me. And yes, I do have something to say. I think that you are trying to act strong because you have something to show off. Everyone, I have an announcement to make. Pretty Boy here has a crush on Tiffany. <gasps> well, I have news for you, Casanova. This ain't another Shrek movie where the ugly one gets the pretty girl. <laughs>
God, our heart is filled with colors, and all those colors reflect our personality. Whatever painted on the inside will show on the outside. The bleach, however, will wash away all the colors of our heart, giving it pale and emotionless. And life, like his, just becomes meaningless. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is like a dream. Wow, you sound like a poet. But true enough, I wonder what happened to him. When you make someone life's hard, the new guy Adam annoys me. Why so? I don't know. It just seems too nice like that Joto wannabe. Yeah, Jago seems to like that smarty pants. I bet by next month, he will be the teacher's pet. But we are the cool ones, though. <laughs> by the way, I prepared some eggs in my bag. Oh, that's good. We could throw it at him when he walks by. <laughs> Uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, sorry guys, love, love the idea, so I gotta rush. See you tomorrow! <coughs> Nene, I'm home! Oh! Daniel! My son! Uh, have you fed the goats already? And where's that wife of yours? No, Nene. It's me, David. Daniel and Lily, they're gone. They're long gone. Oh, David. I am so, so, so sorry. Nene, ni da tua. I have something called demand. Demento! Demento! Dimento. <laughs> it's dementia, Nene. Oh. And it's okay. You're not at fault. You're the only one that has now, though. Kila! <sighs> I'm gonna go prepare lunch. Does Gulai that sound nice? Mmm, my favorite. Mom, I miss your gulai gun. And Dad, I miss going fishing with you. If only the two of you were still here right now, things wouldn't be as hard. Why do you have to go so soon? <laughs>
You got some mangoes after school? Mangoes? Awesome! <laughs> Guys, I can't be agree that we're not going to see Uncle Raj's mangoes ever again. Otherwise, somebody's going to get hurt real bad. <laughs> no, silly. That's the right one mango tree at the elite school. Just beside our kampo only. Everyone's welcome to eat that. Cool. Let's head there after the bells ring. The elite school. I wonder what that would look like. Maybe we could make some new friends. I can always count on you when it comes to food. Whatever you say. Did I hear someone say mango? Uh, uh no. no. <laughs> See you guys. I have everything. I'm coming with you guys.
I see you messing with me. <laughs> 
I didn't just find like a group of new friends there. I found a new family. Although lately they have brushed off my jokes as something that's annoying, they used to laugh at it sincerely last time, and certainly not because of some spells. You see, starting to ignore you, I give a 20% discount. You need to pay for it. No, no, Toby, I don't want all this. This is too much. You shouldn't be putting price on genuine love. Power and popularity, those are earned, not cost. And where is your integrity, Toby? That's it. I'm off to class. I've been off for too long now. I'll hey, see you around. Wait, wait, at least check room Melati. We'll be right back. Um, in the meantime, please feel free to rest outside in the lobby. Um, and there, our silver sponsor, my agenda, is exhibiting Malaysian clothing. Yeah, right outside. Yeah, and right for out. those of you who haven't gotten your food yet, um, we do have um, prepared. We have prepared for you. It's just right outside. Please go and collect it. And um, today here with us also we have two student-led organizations, Charisma Movement and MMII. So Charisma Movement gives out um, some volunteering opportunities in the summer and you might want to go take a look at it. Whereas MMII has been posting time bombs all around Astro Hall but they've just complained to me that no one's responding. So please go, to talk, uh, go and talk to them and like, ask them about what's going on. They, they are giving out a free ticket. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. See you 15. Don't yeah. miss us too much. <laughs> 